So anybody who does that is actually working for the old devil. Okay? Incontinent. Unable to contain yourself, your, your desires, your lusts, your, which, whatever you want, whatever you're going after, you cannot control yourself. You're out of control. I know some people will say, I tried, I tried, I can't control myself. The Bible says it would be like that. Incontinent. Okay? Fierce. Well, that's quite a word. We understand what that means, I'm sure. Fierce. In other words, brutal. The Greek word there actually uh, is generally translated brutal, but it means the same thing. Fierce. Such cruelty. One thing I have no tolerance for is cruelty to animals or to people or to anything. But it's out there, isn't it? Despisers of those that are good. You know, as Christians, we are hated not so much for what we do, but for what we refuse to do. What we will not go along with. That's why people will hate you. You can find this right in families. Let's say somebody decides, okay, I'm going to be true to God and I'm not going to celebrate Baal Mass on December 25th. We're just not going to have anything to do with it. And your family goes berserk. What? What kind of a cult are you in? What kind of a crazy thing is this? Aren't you a Christian? People ask me if I'm going to do it. I say, no, I'm not into witchcraft. I don't fool with that stuff. It's amazing how many people think Christmas is Christian. It's a witchcraft holiday. It's a witch's Sabbath. December 22nd through the 25th is the, the death and rebirth of the sun god, Baal. And they celebrated it by cutting trees down and putting them in the house and decorating them with silver and gold. Read it in Jeremiah chapter 10. When people cut trees down, take them in the house and decorate them with silver and gold, and Jeremiah 10 describes it perfectly, that's what they're doing. Baal worship. There could be nothing else. Hmm. And what happens if you don't go along with a crowd? All guns are pointed at you. Right? Now, We'll get into more of this as we get closer to that time. I'm planning, and hopefully I can do a presentation on that again this year. It's been a while since I've done one of those. In, in great detail to show you what is wrong with it. We know Jesus was not born in December. The Bible tells us that. But religion celebrate it then. It's traditional. And all these things that go along with it and all the trouble that comes with it. Well, it's not going to be quite so um, wonderful this year for the world, the way the economy is. But anyway, it's good if we can just let idolatry alone, let it be gone out of our lives. Now, traitors, oh, you'll find those right in the, in the capital, right? You'll find those all over, the traitors, people willing to sell out. I saw a picture of, a, of Barack Obama today. You've heard of that, uh, that group ACORN, that, that organization ACORN? All the false uh, uh, voting and so forth they were involved in and all the chicanery and Ill illegal activities. And very, very much in support of Barack Obama. I saw a picture of Obama today wearing a hat shaped just like an acorn. It was a you know where the, you got the acorn, the, the part where that attaches to the stem? The hat, exactly like that, and a caption under it said, here's an acorn with a nut still attached. <laughs> so I thought that was uh, kind of cute. But anyway, 
Some things are just true. All right? Traitors, heady, and high-minded. Now, heady actually refers to being reckless. Anything goes. High-minded is, is uh, quite another thing, actually. When you're high-minded, you are literally worshiping intellect. You worship your own intellect. People do that by putting degrees on the wall. You know, their bachelor's degree, their master's degree, their doctorate degree. All those certificates. That's what makes them wise, right? They've got something hanging on the wall. Hmm. It's just a piece of paper, folks. That's all it is. And uh, when they're high-minded like that, you can't tell them anything. There's a lot of other things go along with that. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. I mean, people actually would love their pleasure more than God. I think that's just about universal. But here is the kicker. Here's, the, here's the, the main point. All of these terrible, awful conditions and characteristics of people are all summed up right down here in verse 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Who was he describing? Was he describing the, the uh, as I mentioned, the, the government in Madison and Washington, the educational institutions? Is that what he's, he's also describing the churches having just a form of godliness. But what do they do? They deny the power thereof. What is the power? The Holy Ghost. When you deny the Holy Ghost, you deny the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the indwelling of the Holy Ghost, you're denying the power of God. And the Bible says when people do that, then get out of there. It's kind of interesting how many churches, you know, the so-called fundamentalists, they say, if you get around any people who believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost, get out of there. They're all crazy. Get out of there. And the Bible says the reverse. If they don't believe in it, then get out of there. Right. If they're going to deny the power of... Listen, God's hand is not shortened. The Lord gave nine spiritual gifts to the early church, and we're the same church. They didn't end. If they needed them back there, boy, do we need them today. What are we going to do without the moving of the Spirit? So you don't want to limit the Holy One of Israel. Denying the power thereof, it says, from such turn away. Now he begins to elaborate a little bit. But before I do that, I pointed out there are actually 18 different things listed here. You can count the commas if you want to. Three sixes. But it's kind of interesting too because if you go over to, let's see here, let's go to Galatians for a minute. We're going to go to Galatians chapter 5. He says in verse 16, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the Spirit. He didn't just say believe in the Spirit. He said walk in the Spirit. Okay? In the Spirit. 